welcome to freedom fridays and uh, before i tell you today's title the topic the theme uh, i just want to tell you that this topic and this theme has been going on in my heart for more than a couple of months now and i was just waiting for the right time when i can really come and uh, share what my heart speaks about this title so maybe you might find this title a bit rebellious but trust me i am here just to bring freedom i have no intention of rebellion i only want to bring freedom in people's heart so the title is breaking the stereotypes breaking the stereotypes the word stereotype means a passed on ideology or idea or a pattern a system something which passed on from generation to generation and it's become a cliche it's it's become very famous it's become a a good to do thing something which is uh, in people want to do it it's the way it's been done that is somewhat a stereotype word means and the title i've given is breaking those stereotypes so don't worry it's not a it's not something to rebel it's just uh, to bring freedom these stereotypes i believe they were created initiated by some very wise people uh, and they thought about society they thought about people and for the ben- benefit of most people and they brought some things in order they brought some things in place and they taught their children and they taught their children and it passed on to us but i just want to submit a thought for your consideration that maybe just maybe something that worked for them maybe 2 3 generations up or maybe 100 or 200 years back something worked for them is it really necessary that the, the, the same things will still work for us today there is there's one thing which uh, people say that common good we think about the common good when they say common good they're actually talking about 75 80 percentage of the people but what about the 20 person who are excluded because when you say common good uh, it's it's good for most of the people but there are still some people who suffer because of that so maybe 80% people have been eating the benefit and fruit of the stereotypes but there are still 20% people who are suffering so my message today is for those 20% people if the stereotypes the clichés the systems are working well for you good please continue in it there is no problem but i want to talk to people who think that these stereotypes and clichés they are no longer working for them on the contrary they are putting a lot of pressure on them they are putting a lot of uh, demand on them and it's not working for them and they are not liking it so i want to advise them today break those stereotypes yes i personally would like to break three specific stereotypes the first stereotype which i personally want to break is the stereotype of tradition and reputation this has been our tradition we have always done things like this this is the way our ancestors used to do this is the way when the company started this is the way when we laid the foundation of this community this is how it's been going on this is our tradition and i have seen so many people defending their tradition or either keeping up to the reputation what about our reputation our reputation is at stake what about this what about that so i personally want to sometime break this stereotype of tradition and reputation people have been so hard on themselves first of all they have been really hard on themselves and they have put themselves under tremendous pressure in defending the traditions and keeping up to the reputation and these people who have uh, suffered and uh, you know put them on the spot and been hard on themselves for maybe couple of decades and people when come around them they put the same pressure on the people i still can't understand the 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 concept of suppressing your loved ones and impressing strangers or impressing others i don't understand you want your loved ones to go through something tough times it's not uh, it's not easy for them they don't want to go through this but no this is our name this is our reputation this is our tradition what will people say ah uh, what will people say this one line has broken so many hearts 
This one line has destroyed so many lives. What will people say? People have nothing to say. Trust me, nobody has time to talk about you. And the people who have time to talk about you, you should not even bother to give your ear to them. No one wants to say nothing about nobody. Just come out of this cliche of stereotype or defending tradition, keeping reputation. Again, if some things, some stereotypes are working well for you, please continue with it. But if it's expired now, it used to work 20 years back, 30 years back, 100 years back. If it's not working now, just get rid of these stereotypes. Break them. It's okay to be happy. The second stereotype which I, which I would love personally to break is the stereotype of right time. We always hear the right time to be born and the right time to be walking and speaking and then kindergarten, preschool, school, the right time for college, the right time for career, jobs. This is the right time to get married. It's, it's high time you should have baby or it's the right time to have your second baby and then you, you go make your children go through the same thing which you went through 20-30 years of your life right time and people say you will regret later or oh, maybe it's too late for it maybe it's too early it's high time so much about time 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 I understand people care about us they, they want the best for us but for some of us this right time stereotype created by societies does not work. Some of us are a little different. We are a little off. We don't fit in the stereotypes. I believe you are the one to decide what is the right time for you. And if you do not have those convictions, you don't have the confidence, you don't have a, that thing that, you know, I, I don't know, maybe it's the right time, then please take advice from mature people around you. But if you are convinced in your heart and you have the convictions, then you are the one to decide this is the right time for me. Because you are the one who is going to take the responsibility. If they are saying it's the right time to get married, you have to get married and stay with another person. You decide, are you, are you okay with it? Is this the right time for you? You have to take care of the child and have sleepless nights. You decide when you want it. You decide what is the right time for you. Maybe this right time thing is working for 80% of the people. Good. But for other 20%, they are going through tremendous pressure. It's not working for them. It's, it's making their life miserable. So please break this stereotype of right time thing. The third stereotype which I not only would love me to personally break but I would encourage every person listening to me right now you have to break this stereotype and this stereotype I've called the stereotype of us and them us and them whenever you have this us and them thing you know people people somewhere seem to identify they want an identification with a group or with certain tribe or people or community or we are this, uh, we are a part of this band, we are this. Whenever they say us and them, then they come up with lines like, uh, he is not one of us, she is not one of us. And I don't know, one day some disciples came to Jesus and said, you know, this guy is uh, doing great things in your name, but he is not one of us. You know what Jesus said? Jesus said, it's okay. If he is not against us, he is with us. But for us, we think, oh, if he's not with us, he's against us. What is this us and them? In this us and them game, we have totally forgotten about the word we, W-E, we. We are all one. We have the same father in heaven. There's so much us and them, so much divisions, so many categories, tribes, uh, you know, I'll just check the list. Uh, boundaries, separating people, so much of these things. And whenever... You have this us and them mentality. You are including somebody, but you are excluding other people. Today, the depression and loneliness is at the highest rate. We don't need more things in our society which divides and which brings division. The words of Jesus in John 3.16 were, For God so loved the world. God does not see boundaries, continents, uh, uh, languages, barrier, he doesn't even see gender, male, female, everybody is one. I understand we have different roles, but we are one. We have to stop categorizing things. We have stooped so low 
we have divided colors saffron is this religion green is this religion blue is boys pink is girls who comes up with these things why is there so much division so much us and them uh, when people have this tribal mentality who are tribes they believe their god is also the same kind of a god we were made in his image don't make your god in your image god is not a tribal god he is one for all he loves the world i just want to encourage the upcoming generation the millennials please let's get rid of this stereotype of divisions and us and them let's come together and make this world a better place to live let me just let me just close this thing for you there are stereotypes there are cliches there are systems in place which some wise people initiated for the betterment of the society and which is a good thing but they might have expired today they they might have worked for their time their centuries but it might not be working today there's so many gender stereotypes males cannot do this uh, girls cannot do this women should not do this men should not do this it's okay if if it's working for you but if it's not working for you it's giving you pressure it's making your life miserable break it 